Hey guys, how's it going? We're here with Effects, and welcome to Chill Build, the series where you and me have a casual chat or something with a certain thing suggested by you, the viewer. Hey guys, and welcome. Today we'll be making a Tudor starter house. For any of you guys who have just started in Minecraft, all these blocks will be required. A spruce door, or you can use any door if you want, really. I thought this one, this one looks best, especially in 1.8. This one is the dark oak wood, a normal white wall, Stone brick slab, stone brick stairs, brick slab, brick stairs, and a light grey, light grey stained clay glass, stained glass. Sorry, guys. You can also use any preference of your choice for this glass as well, guys. Um, and that's all the items you will need for this. So first of all, we're going to start placing one, two, and three blocks here. We will then take a third. We'll go three blocks to the right and use that. We will now go in a layer, place three of these wall blocks either side. Also take one here. And if you want to, you can place a sort of support beam along there. And this is where your door is going to go. So obviously this is the entrance of the house. And we will move this down here. Door for two extra blocks. So it it, so it adds up to three in total. This will later um, come out into the main part of the house. Guys, as you can see, it's literally a three by three by three cube. And you will then come out into this area where it will be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then three blocks up. Also, guys, this will only be one layer. Um, but we're going to do the roofing at the end, and that's why I'm not doing it now. Okay, and here, what you want to do is you want to make a three long window. Or you can make two sets of one. I'm going to use a three long. Sometimes you can do this for effect. I am going to choose to do that. Let's get that block back. And you've got to place your three panes along here. This is actually Paolo's lag the shaders. They're actually quite good, I have to admit, guys. We have actually put a break here. I don't know why we've put a break here. I don't think we generally needed it. But it kind of splits it off and makes it look um, better. So now we're going to make this go one, two, three. That's only three. Then we'll make it another two. So you can fit five space in here. One, two, three, four, five. One more. And then this will just come around the back here. So it's like that. This will actually stop here. Come out on this entrance place here. Um, obviously three blocks off again. Like I said, this is a starter house. So obviously it doesn't look very big. But of course for you guys who only have limited resources in survival mode especially, this will be the house for you. Okay. <clears throat> so my music. I need to turn this music down. Okay, there we go. This one, this window is also free, and we will actually forgot to wait. Wrong block. We'll put this on here. So hopefully, guys, this will be a weekly series, maybe even more than weekly. I'm not sure. Why can't I break this block? There we go. This is actually I forgot to do this. Add this extra detail on the side. I don't know how that's going to turn out. Two windows next to each other. I don't think we generally need a window right there. Maybe we can make one that's like this. Yeah, that looks a lot better actually, I have to admit. You always want a long window on the side. Maybe you could put two along here as you walk in the door just to add a bit of light into the room. I don't know. Maybe, I think we're also going to put a window in here. This will probably... Yeah, let's make this one the same height I reckon guys I really love this extra detail we'll put some more in it at the end what really makes builds good guys I have to admit is the little details where it pops out really adds a lot to it um if we just go on the side I don't know if we're gonna have a back garden we might do some grooming of the grass I don't know what you actually call it um now why is that only two that's ah that's one too short um so this is only the first layer we will probably add more detail to this as well guys um i might add some extra blocks along the way should we 
that actually adds quite a feature with the little curve. I don't know, actually, we could actually try and do this. If I take away this area, then we can make a front port sort of area. If we take, if we bring this out and have a larger window area out here. Yeah, I'm liking that. I'm liking that, guys. Um, just putting the pane into there. Does that stick out too much? I'm more worried if that's going to stick out too much. Maybe add step, I think. Maybe we should only bring it out three, though. No, I think I'm going to stick with that. That's an okay build for a house. Um, the thing is, are we going to bring... The, I'm going to bring this one more up. I don't like the height of this, this isn't looking very good, you can't fit much in here, well you couldn't, anyway, so we're going to have a, have to have a practical area, I'll, maybe when we finish this I'll put some exterior in, I won't be showing you the exterior probably, because that will take too long, it's just going to be survival friendly exterior guys, because it just, it is a survival sort of start at home, that has that fancy look to it though. At the same time, let's just fix up these logs on the sides here. Is that window too long on the back? I almost feel like it is. Um, either way, there's one missing there. And let's just cover this up with wool. This, these shaders are actually pretty good, considering they're like... Uh, there is there are quite used shader pack, but they're not the most used as there is Zeus and Rudo plays and other things like that. There is a another one that's like it's been on the market recently, but it's com been completely revamped. It's still made by the same person, but it's absolutely amazing. I forgot what it's called actually. I'll try and find that out for you guys. So what's this looking like? That's not too bad. I'm going to keep this on one layer. This is going to be an outside room. So let's bring it outside. Wait, this part's going to be one layer, actually. No, we don't. We're not going to do that. We're going to make it. Aha! This is what we're looking for, guys. Oh, wait. There we go. Next one, can we delete that bottom one? Yes, we can. Okay. Um. Aha. Uh -huh. Next bit. This is, ah, uh, we're in the last one actually. Okay. How far? Oh yes, it works out evenly. Sorry guys, I just hit my mic then. Um, now along here we'll put bricks. Ah, I see what we've done wrong. Even put that on the right height. Um, oh, <laughs> it fell off. That's actually looking okay, I have to admit, guys. It's not looking too bad, at least. Let's put some of that along there, add some more depth. And <clears throat> what should we fill this in with? Just bricks, I reckon. Don't need that there, that uses, because we haven't got many resources, guys. You, we've just started up considering, if you're considering this as being a starter house. Yeah, that looks good, I guess. We're going to make a four high because we still need a roof on this. I might skip the roof part though, guys, because it will take quite a while. Maybe I'll do a separate tutorial on roofs. Maybe next time we'll do a simple fishing hut area, I don't know. It just depends generally what you guys want. Um as in as in content wise. So 
at what I reckon here is keep that wall but this is going to be a bar balcony you can look out on so we're going to keep that like that maybe I don't know let's do this and put wool over it put white wool on it because white wool is the theme we're going with is that's try a Tudor colour oh I dropped my wool so it needs one more layer after this and then I'm gonna have to do the roof I believe it is we need a fireplace in this as well guys but that's always that's the interior this actually needs to be that height because that's the balcony area okay let's fill this in we're gonna need a staircase where we're we gonna put that okay that's that area done I guess we're gonna put a roof along here let's kind of do this yeah I guess that will work yeah that looks pretty cool actually guys I think um oh that's a, a not a very good angle okay guys I'll be back when I sort out the roof design okay guys I'm back um, this is the house at the moment we need to fill in the floors and stuff maybe put some extra details on actually the carpet needs to come in on the side here this balcony is what I mean we need to check out the view from the balcony at the end wait a minute does that look good no let's put that block there so yeah this is the finished roof keeping the same design we walk in no flooring yet obviously where are we going to put this staircase uh let's put it here what are we going to use um let's get some stairs spruce will do i like the spruce block actually it's quite a good one um and down there just for the window or we could always use oak and put a bookcase in always it would work a lot easier if we used oak and a bookcase oh that actually works but I'm still going to use oak let's get that in so that block coming towards the end of the vid now guys just putting in the extra details is this part guys there we go nah you you the roadblock Okay, this is the upstairs area guys. This actually looks pretty cool. Let's grab that. Here we go. Now we need a window here. Ah, we can use what I wanted to. Two high windows. This is what I like best. Oh, did you see that sun coming? That was the glorious moment. Yeah, this looks pretty awesome, guys. I think just now we need to put a block in. Let's put spruce wood, I guess. Oh, guys, I'll be back when I've done the floor. Okay, guys, I'm back. I've done both layers of flooring, this one and this one. I decided to go to oak with the end because I remember the staircase is oak wood so yeah i think that's it i think just now all i've got to do is the detail and that will be it for the episode guys okay so okay guys i believe we are done um this is it we've finished we just put some carpet in a bed with a table nothing along here storage for days a nice little carpet and you're working area and i think that's it for all you would need for your house guys so thanks for watching guys i'll see you in the next episode make sure to leave a like and bye